Welcome to the Netflix headquarters. We are the Netflix marketing team and today we're going to be conducting an interview in order to collect some information based on the um, suggestion service that we have. Okay. So first off, let's start with, with some questions about you. Tell us a bit about yourself. Hello, my name is Ibrahim. I'm 29 years old. I live in Arnhem. What else do you want to know about me now? Are you familiar with Netflix? Yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. And how often would you say you use Netflix? No. Oh. Let's say at least the minimum once a week. Mm -hmm. um, what kind of content do you watch? Comedy. Comedy? Okay. Which one is your current favorite? Well, nothing tops Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Okay. Do you watch Netflix originals? No. I don't even know what it is. I don't even... Like, I don't really go much into different types of Netflix. It depends on what I want to watch. I look it up. If it's there, I watch it. If it's not, I look somewhere else. Well, that's actually an important question. If it's not on Netflix, what do you do? Where do you watch it? Well, of course, you start with Google, wherever it is. So I figure out where it is. Then, yeah, then I go there. Okay. So do you use other streaming platforms other than Netflix? No much. It's usually like uh, like online free stream depends like it mm -hmm. could vary from different websites and so on. Okay. but there's also an option that you, you did forget to mention that some of the content is not available for different countries yes that is true that is something we're trying to work on yeah i already figured it out <laughs> I, use, I use vpn just change your location to a different country where you know that the content is there and you can watch it yeah, like, uh, yeah, for example. So now let's talk about the suggestions. Do you think they apply to you? How, like, how accurate do you think they are? What suggestions exactly are they? Suggestions for content that is similar to stuff you've already watched. Some of them are just stupid because if you watch something once, you have a lot of suggestions that on the same content or genre. But I'm not really interested in it. Like, for example, I watched one time a zombie show. Not really a fan of it. I got a lot of suggestions for it. Just once. Mm -hmm. Take it off. Okay. If I'm frequent on it, then yeah, okay, that, that's my genre. Mm -hmm. If not, I don't want to watch it. I don't want to even see it on the suggestions. So. And one, one other thing. If you watch it one time, you have it on the continue watching. If I don't want to watch it again, I want to take it off. I can't. Mm -hmm. Or at least I haven't figured out how. If that option is available. Do you think there are any other ways to improve the service? Yeah, well, so far it's okay. Like, like I said, it's the small details, like removing something that I already watched on the continue watching list. And sometimes when I just watch different other, other different shows, we just replace it. But like, let's say the, the counter goes up to what? 10 shows so I have to watch 10 different shows just to clear the list yeah that's not really cool mm -hmm. do you use other streaming platforms no. not much nowadays no like I said it's just websites for example like uh, before for example Big Bang Theory was here I watched it online websites so you cannot really say it's a platform it's just a website where it provides a stream link and I just watch it there. Um, is there anything else you would like to add? Nothing in the top of my mind now. Okay, well then I think that concludes our interview. Thank you. Thank you for participating. Thank you. Hello, Hi. I am part of the marketing team behind Netflix. And today I'm going to be asking you some questions about the suggestion system on Netflix. Okay. So first off, let's start off with your name. I'm uh, Daniel Yurgiev. Okay. Um, tell us a bit about yourself. Uh, I'm a student at the university. Uh, I like to watch movies. Uh, I like to read books and. Uh... So do you use Netflix? Yes. Uh, recently, I started using Netflix. Mm -hmm. So I know its main features. And how often would you say that you use Netflix to watch content? Uh, too often, more, more like every day. Mm -hmm. Do you enjoy mostly series or movies? I watch both, so I cannot say. Mm -hmm. Okay. What is your current favorite thing to watch? 
at the moment I am watching Daredevil on Netflix mm -hmm. and some older movies okay um, when do you find using Netflix best? Uh, when I'm trying to find a movie that uh, I don't necessarily want to buy and uh, when I just want to watch something um, not too engaging in the evenings mm -hmm. and how accurate would you say the suggestions are? Uh, I would say more or less accurate uh, it's uh, recommending me things that I'm generally interested in mm -hmm. but not all of them are appropriate okay and what do you think about them? the suggestions? yes well they are uh, related to the topics I have said that I like so I, I, I would think the suggestion system is pretty okay mm -hmm. but there are things that I like more than those that are recommended which are not in my suggestion list mm -hmm. do you use other streaming services? yes I also use the HBO GO streaming service mm -hmm. and how does that compare to Netflix? oh it's much worse than Netflix I uh, much prefer Netflix to uh, HBO since it has except a lot more content it also has a better suggestion system and they a lot less errors mm -hmm. Would you like to share any opinions about Netflix? Sure, um, I find it uh, uh, really easy to use. Uh, there wasn't anything that I needed to uh, help with uh, finding out how to use. Mm -hmm. So I would say it, uh, it's pretty simple and it has all the features that I need, basically. Mm -hmm. Do you think there are any ways to improve the service? Yes, perhaps. Um, there is uh, an option to cancel the uh, feature that starts the trailers of uh, some random series or movies you hover on so that mm -hmm. uh, you don't have to watch trailers anytime you have opened Netflix. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else you would like to add? Um, no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't think so. Okay, then that concludes our interview. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So, hello. Hello. Uh, my name is Karina and I'm part of the marketing team behind Netflix. We're going to ask you a few questions so that we can understand more about how you feel about the service. Okay. So, let's start with uh, what do you like to do in your free time? Well, in my free time, I mostly like to either play games, computer, or code uh, programs. So. I rarely watch TV, but when I do, I tend to indeed not watch the regular TV, so I watch more like its streaming platforms in general. Yeah. Except the streaming platforms, do you also like uh, content delivered from platforms like Netflix or HBO? Or? Yeah, sometimes. And do you watch Netflix? Uh, I watch it, I couldn't, like recently, I haven't really been able to watch it as much because I've had a lot of work, but uh, when I can watch it, I usually watch uh, uh, some sci-fi series and uh, like a, f a few mu movies, I think. So, yeah. Okay, so Netflix has uh, originals in the sci-fi yeah. section. Do you also watch these? Yeah. I remember, like, I watched the, the one with the robots, like, uh, you know, when uh, there's a child which uh, gets trapped on like a planet and you, he, he, they meet a robot and you know they help each other in a sense because they're trapped <coughs> on a planet i can't remember the title now but uh, yeah and how do you think the overall experience of using the platform is it's pretty good like the you know obviously the, the loading times are fine i've never really noticed the uh, lag or you know just audio imbalances or anything um, also it's I like the fact that they give you subtitles in uh, in plenty of languages so you don't really need to you know just listen to it in English or some other language uh, so yeah I've, I've never really had issues with using the platform what do you think about the recommendations are they like accurate for your choices or sometimes but I mean like if you scroll you know uh, if you scroll enough, it, you're definitely gonna find what you something that might interest you. But I would say maybe not, you know, like 
uh, it's not a hundred percent accurate obviously it cannot really be but for what it's worth it's still decent for a discovery program yeah and do you usually use it when i want to watch something new yeah uh, do you also use other competitive services for watching movies and series? Well, HBO Go. Um, and I think that's it. And how do you think Netflix compares to HBO Go? Uh, I mean, HBO Go definitely has a lot more movies than a uh, series. So you usually go to HBO Go to watch movies, uh, whereas you go to Netflix to watch uh, more series uh, type of, uh, of uh, you know. yeah. And if there were more movies on Netflix, would you choose Netflix over HBO? Depends. Depends on what kind of movies. Yeah, like if there are uh, blockbuster movies and you know the all the new releases and stuff, uh, I might. You know, it's definitely a lot easier to just have. Uh, essentially what HBO offers also on Netflix because then you just combine it into one platform. And is there anything else you would like to add to the conversation? Uh, like what I would like to see improve for yeah. instance? Um, well at first I would like again <laughs> more more uh, movies to be put into, into Netflix especially like kind of like more blockbuster movies because usually Netflix has more uh, I wouldn't say niche but not the new releases anyway new releases usually go to HBO Go um, so yeah I would like to see that uh, also I don't know maybe to improve the recognition algorithms to see like maybe what would interest you not know, to have a higher uh, accuracy rate maybe I don't know Okay, thank you for your time. That's yeah. uh, our interview. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Good afternoon. We are a marketing team trying to help uh, Netflix to develop their content. And we would like to ask you some questions. Uh, would you please tell us a bit about yourself? Mm, I'm a full-time student and I work part-time. Okay. <coughs> And does that leave you with a bit of a free time for yourself? <coughs> Mostly in the evening, okay. before sleeping, I guess. Uh, and do you use that free time sometimes to watch Netflix? Yes, I do. Okay. Uh, so maybe there is this free time, but there is maybe also some other time. So how frequently in total do you think you watch Netflix? Maybe... Not every day, but I would say five times a week. Five times a week? I guess, yeah. Um, mostly what you are watching in Netflix, what kind of content you watch? Series, movies, documentaries, programs? It, it actually depends on my mood. Mm -hmm. So sometimes it would be a series, would, would be like really serious, or sometimes it would be a movie which could be comedy. So it really depends on what I feel like. So you don't have specific uh, nope. genre that you are stick to it, but you switch between them. And uh, the most frequent thing that you watch when you want to have like an easy watch, would it be like frequent Netflix original content or other types of content? Do you prefer the content from Netflix or... Mm. It's really hard to say. I would say right now, yeah, Netflix originals. You watch them? Yeah. Okay. And in total, the content on the website, do you find it satisfying? Do you find it that you are finding enough uh, of what you are looking for? No. No. I think they should put more stuff in it. More movies or series. Like, okay, movies. Yeah. Uh, do you think that uh, it's... Uh, the Netflix original movie that's lacking or different? No, the, the other ones. Okay, different production companies. Uh, when you are watching Netflix, Netflix will provide you with some suggestions mm -hmm. according for your previous watches. Uh, how relevant those uh, suggestions are for your taste? I would say 50% of it is okay. Mm -hmm. The other side is not that great. So 50-50? Yep. Okay. At least 
the uh, non-relevant 50, is it bothering or is it just not relevant? I just don't care about it, so I don't even look at it. Okay, so let's see, it's irrelevant. irrelevant. Um, do you use any other streaming uh, platform? No. Um, well, YouTube, but... And if you did not find the content, if it's going to the Netflix, do you switch to try to get it from the book somewhere else? No. Uh, do you have any tip or any idea how the service of Netflix could improve? Try to get more service rights, I guess. Uh, not service rights. Um, to get more rights for movies to put on Netflix, because there's a lot of movies that could be in it, but they are not. You mean just to have more content from different production companies within yeah. Netflix? Uh, yeah, it's totally fair. Uh, uh, it's totally fair. <laughs> Is there anything that uh, you have in your mind to say about this place? Mm, I think in the beginning it was more interesting than it is now. Mm -hmm. And I think that's because of the content. It's getting not that great. Okay. So you are having less and less content you can finalize yeah. all the content that they have. Okay. Uh, well, I think that uh, your opinion adds a lot. Uh, thank you very much for your time. Thank you. And uh, yeah, thank you very much.